Face to face, the scientist and the creature created in his own image. The world's most advanced bionic man can see with microchip eyes, breathe through man-made lungs and pump synthetic blood with an artificial beating heart. 28 different body parts that function like the real thing. A million dollar artificial human that shows just how far technology has come. Berthold Meyer has the same prosthetic hand, but he doesn't feel threatened by his robotic double. When you put it all together, you get something that is quite clunky. You realize that it doesn't all come together naturally and even comes to life. We didn't build a Frankenstein here. But I think it's still a very good way of showcasing and showing the world what we're already able to do and will be able to do in the near future. The technology comes with a hefty price tag. The computerized knees that mimic natural walking movement cost £40,000 each. The advanced prosthetic hands cost £30,000 each. And the battery-powered heart comes in at £76,000. The total cost of the bionic human is £640,000. This showed us quite how much of the rest of the human body medical science has actually said, we understand that well enough to build a replica that works. And that's actually really, really impressive. We now have, effectively, we can capture most of a human being and put it back again if it's missing. The robot lacks a brain to coordinate its body. The 100 billion neurons are still far too complex for science to even come close to replicating. Some of these body parts are already being used by patients, the prosthetic legs, the bionic hands and even the artificial heart. But it's the internal organs which are really of interest to scientists. The spleen, the kidneys and even the lungs are still at the prototype stage, but they could one day go on to help solve the worldwide donor organ shortage. It's not yet the six million dollar man, the fictional TV cyborg, but science is getting ever closer. Thomas Moore, Sky News.